American director Aronofsky is known for his psychologically and emotionally disturbing films and the use of exaggerated sound design that matches his cinematic style and techniques. The common themes of his films Pi, Requiem for a Dream and Black Swan are obsession, paranoia, looking for perfection, addiction, psychosis. All these themes are enhanced by the use of creative sound design. With the use of very short shots of simple actions called hip-hop montage, he describes complex actions and patterns that signify routine and addiction. The sense of repetition is clearly expressed in this sound of drinking coffee. The sound doesn't even finish, that it starts again. The close-up frames need a close-up sound, therefore dynamic processors are applied to the sound reducing its dynamics so that it feels closer to us. The absence of reverb keeps the moments separated from each other. The sounds are part of sequences that can be described as synagogy, meaning that this one sequence or sound stands for a more complex action like eating or selling. Aronofsky's use of camera is opposite to the standard of classical Hollywood cinema, where the camera plays the role of a narrator external to the scene by contrast, he wants the audience to feel part of the character's life and get inside their mind. To achieve that, he uses no cameras and distorted and electronically processed sounds, representing moments of confusion, pain, hallucination, Moments of hallucination and chaos are often followed by isolation and silence. The sense of isolation is recreated by the transition from tight scene to big and wide spaces. Maria! The sense of isolation is also achieved with foreground sound, like for example the character's voice, the doctors didn't know if my eyes would ever heal. The reverberant sound. I was terrified. Of this tap water. Alone in that darkness. The sound of the phone ringing. The sound is also an intrusion of the character's private world, who doesn't answer, protecting his world of isolation and privacy from anybody. His only view of the outside world from inside his apartment day, my first is a distorted fisheye lens of the people on his door which has its own sound theme. To express subjectivity and the point of view of the characters, many scenes use a meticulous stereo panning. Sounds enhance subjectivity and isolation, also with what Xion calls extension, which is the ability that sound has to design our concrete space beyond the borders of the visual field.
Arnavs get used to many time-lapse scenes that involve a change of pitch of the sound. He wants the audience to get into the character's mind so that we can experience their drowsiness. Attention to details. Confusion. What seems to be the problem? One of the strong points of Aronofsky's films is the tight collaboration with composer Clem Mansell and sound designer Brian Emrich, also sound supervisor and sound editor Craig Hennigan, who joined the team in the late 90s, contributing created a sound that is slightly dirty and crispy, style common in that period in Los Angeles. Aronofsky is a big fan of hip hop, and we can see how this musical genre shaped his films. As Daniela Kuledzik Wilson confirms, the film technique is inspired by hip hop music, in particular its sampling techniques. Aronofsky has invented an editing style in which different shots and segments are treated as samples and repeated throughout the film. Most of these sounds correspond to particular images for their diegetic source but they are deliberately processed and constructed into unrealistic, striking sound effects with lives of their own. 12.45, restate my assumptions. One, mathematics is the language of nature. She identifies some patterns in Pi. Two, everything around us can be represented and understood through numbers. Organized in a hip hop music schematic system. Three, if you graph the numbers of any system, patterns emerge. Therefore, there are patterns everywhere in nature. She also transcribed the rhythm of the sounds in three scenes from Pi in musical notation. That day I had my first headache. The rhythm and the use of short sounds, repetition, the presence of disrupting effects are all characteristic of hip hop. However, the music of Queen Mansell often gives continuity to these scenes. This makes clear that Aronofsky's theme is developing his own very personal style, like the use of sounds unrelated to the image, representing metadegetic sounds, called by Walter Murch, metaphoric use of sound. The reason why these sounds are perceived as linked to the images is their synchronization that Sean calls synchrosis. The perceptual realism gives a sense of credibility to the film. All these great results have been achieved by the collaborative work of director, composer and sound designers that knew exactly what their roles were in the production of the film and managed to create dialogue between music and sound. 1018, press return. Or to interfere with each other. or to mix themselves. Excuse me, can I take a look at the paper?
I believe this collaboration created a brilliant context to strongly express a narrative and pushes the story forward. This is probably the case where heard in isolation, the recording seems silly, overhyped, but heard in context, they assume a more natural balance. As the supervising sound editor of Requiem for a Dream affirms, the style of sound design is so brave that it changes its own meaning.